Dogs are perceptive to human body movement, from subtle head and eye signals to larger gestures. Two bowls are scented with meat in order to attract the dog. This dog immediately goes where the human points and doesn't investigate the other dish. It looks to the human for guidance. Even puppies look to people for information, which led McClosey to suspect they are hardwired for this behavior. And then the wolves are put to the test. The researcher starts with the same pointing experiment. But the wolf is uninterested in what the person is doing. And unlike the dog, the wolf does not look to the human for help, despite the domestication of this pack. What we have learned from many experiments is that dogs have this ability, they are kind of keen on observing humans, and they have also the ability to use this information if they have to solve a problem. Next, the team conducts a problem-solving experiment. They place a piece of meat on a rope. The wolf will need to pull on the rope in order to get the reward. This is easily done. <laughs> then the dog is put to the same test. Like the wolf, the dog will easily get the meat by pulling the unsecured rope. In the wolf pen, the researcher ties off the rope, making it impossible to pull out. For several minutes, the wolf paces around the cage, determined to solve the problem on its own. And then it becomes agitated. What wolves always do, they try to, to solve the problem themselves, and they don't get into communicative interaction with humans just by looking at them. When the rope is tied off for the dog, the result changes. Instead of easily getting the meat, the dog easily gives up, looking to the human for help. Compared to the wolves, it's very clear that dogs have a hidden advantage. Dogs are much better in learning, and not just learning, but also using human cues as uh, in a communicative situation. So that suggests for us that in the course of evolution of dogs, or you might call it domestication, dogs had to be selected for this ability to some extent. McLosey believes the evidence is clear. The dog's communicative skills were bred into the animal after it split from the wolf. We rewarded dogs that responded to our social cues. These dogs had a greater chance of surviving and passing on their genes. Whether it's